another video. Apologies for the uh, post shower look. Um, first meal of the day, um, making sure that I'm having plenty of protein because I have to admit, I feel like recovery over the last sort of few days, maybe weeks, has not been great. Um, the fatigue definitely is uh, starting to hit me just with the intensity of the weights ramping up. Um, so I'm really trying to do everything I can to get that recovery in. Uh, definitely trying to sleep more. I think that's a really big one for me when my sleep is slightly disturbed. Um, recovery isn't great. Obviously trying to just eat a little bit better as well, trying to get in as many macronutrients as possible, as well as hitting those micronutrients. So um, I've got these Alpha Men uh, vitamin tablets from my protein. I literally try and have one of them every day, uh, as well as having some Omega-3s. I try and have uh, four of these a day. Um, I think it says to have three of these a day, but um, when I did my test, on my omega 3s uh, a few weeks back it did say my omega 3 is quite low so i just supplement that by having four of them um, what we have here is some eggs some lean beef mints uh, and then just garnish with a little bit of a uh, spring onion and parsley but yeah monday session um really wasn't that great i was just feeling so tired and lethargic going into it and the previous week to that, I had actually missed half of my squat session because of my slight adductor uh, issue. So I was a little bit like worried going into the session anyway and a little bit tired. Um, but I did manage to get it done, but it has meant that uh, because it was suddenly a big ramp up in intensity because I missed the week before, um, I have got severe DOMS now. And obviously two days later, I have to deadlift. Uh, and I'm not really looking forward to it because I just feel so sore, so tired. But it's just one of them where you just have to kind of grind through it because like being fatigued is just part of the process. You can't get away from being tired and fatigued sometimes because that's your way of your body adapting to the stimulus that you put on it. Um, but yeah, it just sucks a little bit. So I have to control what I can control and that is uh, just you know trying to recover as best I can with food, sleep uh, and other little things as well. So I actually had a cold shower this morning as well, uh, which is definitely woken me up a little bit because I was very tired when I woke up this morning. So I'm hoping if I just smash this, have my sort of usual stuff before the gym, uh, my pre-workout, hopefully when I get to the gym I will feel okay. Mm. That is the other thing, I'm potentially having a sports massage today as well to help with recovery. Uh, I'm just waiting for Harry to get back to me who is like the sports therapist at the gym that I go to. Um, is that him? That's literally him. That is the weirdest timing. Okay, so I'm not going to be getting a sports match off today because he hasn't got availability today. Uh, but next week, next Thursday, I will be getting a sports massage. So just to work through um, some of my tight areas, so like my traps, my mid back, uh, my quads, and obviously my adductor. They're the usual suspects. So uh, yeah, next week I will uh, have a sports massage. So I'm not actually tracking my calories at the moment. So if I was to hazard a guess of how much protein is in this meal, um, it's probably about 60 grams, because uh, it's four eggs, which is roughly 20 grams of protein, and then 250 grams of steak mince, which is probably about 40 grams. So about 60 grams, so it's a big hit of protein for my uh, first meal of the day. Well, also, who else is team ketchup on eggs? <laughs> I certainly am.
Okay, so there has been an update since deadlifts on Thursday. It's now Saturday and I've literally just got off the phone to 111 because uh, last night I had a real flare up uh, of pain in my foot and I mentioned this sesamoiditis uh, type thing that I had probably about a month ago. Um, this really, really flared up last night to the point where I couldn't put any weight on my foot, couldn't walk anywhere. Um, just touching the skin around where it hurts, so on my sort of big toe, was just um, really, really sensitive and painful. Um, so I did actually send a picture over to Matt, my coach, who's pretty clued up on these things, and he straight away thought gout. He thinks I've basically got gout in my foot. Uh, which is basically a buildup of uric, uric acid in the joint and it sort of crystallizes a joint um, which obviously causes a lot of pain and it can cause um, infections and inflammation and that sort of thing which is kind it kind of makes sense because this last week obviously I felt so fatigued and so lethargic um, so if I've had an infection in my foot all this week then that kind of explains that so yeah I got onto the phone to 111 they have pretty much uh, they pretty much think it is gout as well, but they want me just to go and get it checked out. Uh, so they've actually recommended I go down to an urgent care centre today um, and just have it looked at. So potentially going to get put on a course of antibiotics, maybe if it is that. Um, but yeah, I think it is important that I do go down and actually just get it checked just to make sure um, all is okay and they can just give me the correct treatments. But it's obviously very annoying because it means I can't train today. So I was going to be doing my SSB today. Um, I definitely feel like I could bench still, but obviously um, I don't want to aggravate it by just sort of walking around too much on it. So yeah, not going to be going to the gym today. Probably means I'm not going to be going to the gym early next week as well. And it's really annoying because I am supposed to be going down to London uh, on Monday. Um, so I'm really hoping that I can still do that. Um, I'm hoping that yeah, they don't say you can't travel anywhere. Um, but yeah. We'll have to just wait and find out. So I'm going to head down there now and uh, see what they say. Where do I start? Well, I, uh, I've just come back from a nice little dinner with some workmates, hence why it's a lot darker outside now than uh, when I saw you earlier on. But uh, yeah, went to the uh, urgent care centre in Bristol today to just have a look at my foot to find out what was going on. And my, I wouldn't say my worst fit is, but what I was worried about pretty much is true uh, and that I've got gout in my foot of all things uh, which is basically like a chronic thing so it's not going to go away but it is manageable so I've been given a nice little prescription here of some fairly strong painkillers but luckily to be fair the pain has subsided quite a bit um, I mean I've had a couple of beers tonight mainly just to sort of drown my sorrows but you know, I think really realistically, although with gout, people are sort of associate it with a bad diet and alcohol consumption and that sort of thing. But uh, when I actually spoke to the doctor there, he actually said that's a fallacy and that's not actually true. And there's people of all ages can basically get gout, uh, but it is quite rare, obviously, with younger people. But um, anyone can actually get it and it's not always linked to diet. So that was probably um, a good thing because obviously worried that maybe the amount of protein that I have in my diet has actually led to this but um, apparently that's not it and it could just be the fact that um, I overuse my foot and that joint in particular a lot in the gym because um, I definitely know when I actually injured my foot a few years ago um, where the pain is uh, I've had a lot of tightness there ever since I injured my ankle like years ago so it could be kind of linked to that but um, the good news is that it will get sort of managed with pain relief and that sort of thing and it's not going to be like a constant pain it is just gonna I might have flare-ups now and again um, it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with and manage um, 
But um, on Monday, I'm going to have to talk to my GP and get a blood test um, just to see what my uric acid levels are because that's kind of what um, causes the joint to crystallize and causes the pain essentially. It's like an arthritic joint. Um, so I'm going to have to go on Monday to get a blood test, just find out what my uric acid levels are, um, and that will really sort of that will determine whether I really have got gout in my foot or not. Um, but yeah, I mean, all it really means is I'm going to have to take a few days off from the gym. Uh, so today, obviously, I didn't train squats. Um, probably early next week, I won't be able to train squats either, just to allow it to rest a little bit. But I think really by the end of the week, um, should be able to maybe deadlift if like the pain has died down. As long as I'm sort of taking the painkillers, um, it will be manageable, so it should be fine. Um, so yeah, it's not like a disaster really. It's a, it was a little bit of a shock, I'm not going to lie, because you don't really associate yourself with gout because I, I, I like to think I'm a fairly young fit individual and you think of gout as someone who's sort of older and has an absolutely terrible diet uh, which I don't feel like I do have um, so yeah it is what it is I'm just sort of I suppose processing that a little bit um, but just crack on with it I may have to go on some medication sort of daily this is I think this is kind of what shocked me a little bit the doctor did say that potentially if I do have gout and it I get regular flare-ups of it um, I may have to go on a medication which I have to take daily for the rest of my life which was a bit of a like I don't really want to be having to take medication every day for the rest of my life when I feel like I'm a fairly fit individual, but it is what it is. I mean, if that's what it takes to make sure that I'm uh, sort of pain-free and I can still continue to do what I love, which is powerlifting, then so be it. So yeah, I think really that kind of sums up why I've been feeling so fatigued and so tired this last week, because potentially there is a bit of an infection in the joint as well. Um, which is also another reason why I'm getting a blood test, just because I potentially need to get antibiotics. Um, so that's kind of a reason why I have been fatigued, I think, this week in general, and felt tired, um, just where my body has been slightly fighting that, I suppose. Um, so at least that kind of, you know, I can put two and two together there a little bit, because I have been a bit surprised with how tired I felt with the train that, training that I've done, because I didn't feel like the training really warranted how tired I've been feeling. Um, so that's a good thing that I can kind of link those two things together. Um, but yeah, um, I think really just trying to be optimistic as much as I can about it. it. It's one of those things, it is what it is, it's not like a massive deal, but um, yeah, just have to manage it. But it's not really the video I wanted to make, I wanted to really just sort of, uh, yeah, I mean this video was going to be talking about how I've been feeling in terms of fatigue, but I didn't expect to have to link the fatigue to actually um, my dodgy foot. Um, and I just wanted to talk more about my training, but that hasn't been the case. So it is what it is. Hopefully I will be able to get some sort of training in next week and I'll try and document that. I am actually going to be going down to London next week as well. So I'm going to be filming that as well and potentially training in a different gym. I don't really know. Kind of depends how my foot's feeling and that sort of thing. So uh, yeah. I'll keep you posted anyway but yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video for what it is um, a lot of me talking and complaining about me hurting and being injured but it is what it is um, yeah I hope you like the video anyway subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you in the next one take care peace